Warcraft 2. We're here in Anaheim, California, showing it off for the first time hands-on play. Um, we've got both Protoss and Terran playable here. We're really excited to get feedback, and so far, so good. Yeah, so StarCraft 2 is a sort of reimagining, re-envisioning of the original game. Uh, we've our big push here is to have the three races are once again in the game, but to have them even further diversified and um, really sort of enhancing the differences between the races. So you know, we we really want to sort of bring it into the next generation. The engine is. Um, has all the bells and whistles. It is a next generation engine. Um, very stylized still, but you know, finally we can get away from the 640 by 480 original StarCraft, you know, look. Also a huge announcement that's happening here about sort of our single player and how we're changing it up. It's a very different experience than what we did have done traditionally with our RTSs, both original StarCraft, Warcraft 3. We sort of told you the story, you linear linearly would go through the campaigns and here now we're putting the choices into the player's hands. Single player in StarCraft II, uh, we're putting you in, what we're going to be showing today is uh, you playing in the Terran campaign. You actually control Jim Raynor. Um, you get to go up directly to various characters, find out information. We really wanted players, uh, even though in original StarCraft, the story was presented to you through briefings basically. It was actually a very rich and deep story and there was a lot of info there, but players didn't have an opportunity to really kind of understand where does this planet fit in space and where you know who what is this guy's motivation so in StarCraft 2 we're giving players the opportunity to find out about story as much or as little as they want um, also they get to make choices like what sort of technology they purchase that would be used in levels that they actually as they play and then what planets they go to so we're trying to put a lot more control into the players hands and we're doing it's a very big change for us so it's that's kind of the most significant thing that we're rolling out here today there's a huge fan base with the original game, so we are definitely catering to that fan base and um, enhancing and making it a different experience, but hoping uh, to also entice those same players that, that love the original. The whole purpose of this was to put it in front of people. We are pre-alpha, so we're not even playing with the whole company yet, but um, we definitely have pro gamers. We had them out here a little bit early. They're here the day before they've been playing, but we're also getting just the fans also playing, and feedback is very important. As far as when, when the game's expected to ship, uh, the best I can do for you is when it's ready. Um, I'll say that traditionally we've taken three and a half to four years from the time we announce a product to when it comes out, or at least a major new product, um, not expansions. And this time around we, tend, we, we plan to be a lot more ambitious, um, but again, we'll ship when it's ready.